is national security. Food is the economy. It is employment, energy, and history. Food is everything. But what happens to a society dominated by poverty, where food is a rare commodity, where parents no longer care for their children, and the children have to scavenge for themselves? Naito Bishop Rose, hili jina bishop ni mepewa na awa watoto. Kiwango yangu ni reverend, ama clergy ni reverend. Lakini watoto wakaanza kuniita bishop, I'm bishop right now. Lakini takuwa ordained hivi karibuni as a bishop. Like I'm reverend Rose. Uh, na mimi ni mulemavu, lakini sikubali ulemavu. <laughs> Sina mgu moja, mgu wangu likatu wa nikiwa mtoto mdogo miaka ine. Nimekuwa hivyo, paka nikafika pahali niko sasa. Lakini... Ninapenda watoto sana na ninapenda watu wote. Hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza ingia na hii gate aseme ananjaa kosa kukula ama kukunywa kama iko. Mi naitwa Marion Wangoi Bishop. Mimi nasema naona kitu ya losi ni mzuri. Ukiona mtu analia jiri wa ya watoto na si wake. Ananipigia simu ananiambia Marion nitafanya nini si ukuje. Gari yangu hata ina mavuta na ninataka kwenda kutabutia watoto chakura. Anaaja kulia na mwambia unalia nini hata tuombe. Tunaomba na tunaona Mungu. Poverty is a very complicated issue, but feeding a child isn't. And Bishop Rose believes if you cannot feed a hundred people, then feed just one. Kuna kitu ambacho mimi nilijiamini. Ya kwamba ninaweza nikaonge I can speak for somebody. Ninaweza nikaongea kwa sababu ya mtu mwingine. Kwa maana nimeona hapa wachungaji wakikuja hapa ninawapea masuti. Nimeomba kwa niamba yao. Yaani ninamwangalia akihubiri na amevili amekaa. Naenda tu naambia watu na niko na wahubiri wanahubiri vizuri sana lakini vile wamekaa wamekaa vibaya. So unakuta naitiwa manguo suits, very nice suits. Na mimi nawaita wanakuja hapa wanachukua. Na hivi kama ni hawa watoto. Yaani niliona ya kwamba niende tu vile ambavyo nilienda nikaongelesha na muhi, na kaongelesha muhindi. Niende. Yaani niongelesha watu ambao wanaweza wakapeana. Wengine huwa hawapeani hata ukimwongelesha anaongea lugha nyingine. Lakini sifi moyo. Naenda tu nikiongea na nimeenda mahali kwingi. Kama ni chakula Na, na, naongea na marafiki, naongea na watu, naenda kwa makampuni, hili hata nisikia, anisikie. Na kuna wale wananisikia na ninapata, na nikipata ninakuja hapa tunapika. Emi yangu ni wakule kila siku, na waende shule, na wapate, yani maisha mazuri. Mtu waache kukaa maisha ambayo, sio ya mwanadamu ni kama ya mnyama. Wakae maisha ambayo, unakuta ya kwamba huyo mtoto wataweza kusoma, ndiyo maisha ya baadaye tuwe na watu ambao watasimama katika hii nchi na watu, watu, watu ambao wataweza kujisaidia. Kwa maana masomo inafaa. Na neno la Mungu pia. Na social life. My name is Caroline Wanjiko. Um, a single mother na huwa na saidiana na my mom bishop kufanya hii kazi. Wakati alianza uh, ilikuwa challenge juu saa zingine kuna places anahitaji kwenda ana mtu wa kutuma sometimes uh, kuna chores around hakuna mtu so nikabidi niache kazi zangu uh, nikuje nikuwe full time uh, volunteer tufanye na yeye kazi they say inside every good story there is always a dark spot and vice versa the east calls it yin yang inside the story of a little girl who fell into the arms of quacks and had to bear the pain and scar of their incompetence for the rest of her life nilizaliwa nikiwa nikiwa mzima kama watoto wale wengine wale wako hapa lakini nikiwa na miaka 4 nilianguka tukiwa tunacheza na watoto wale wengine tulikuwa na my brother na watoto wengine pande za za kule kutus Alafu nilipoanguka mguu ukawa umevunjika nikawa na fima. Ni ikawa nipelekwe hospitali Kirogoya. Lakini mama yangu atakasema hata nipeleka Kirogoya atanipeleka nyumbani enda ni Moranga mahali baba yangu alikuwa nakaa. So tulienda hospitali na nikalazwa. Lakini 
ikawa mgu ule ambao ulikuwa umevunjika ndio mzuri saa hii huu ndio ulikuwa umevunjika mgu wa left lakini mgu wa right ukaleta shida kwa sababu ile traction walikuwa wameweka walikuwa wameweka miguu yote wamefunga miguu yote juu so mmoja ikawa imekazwa sana na mguu uka develop shida ya mishipa kukosa kupeleka damu mguu kaanza kufura na ukaanza kuwa mweusi kutoka kwa vidole so wa mama mmoja akakuja akateta sana kwa maana mtoto wake nilikuwa kitanda moja na yeye alikuwa karibu anakuja naona ninalia sana na mguu umekuwa mweusi mama yangu alikuwa anaona lakini anasema anaogopa asiambie daktari nisidungwe shidano ati nikufe so alikuwa naogopa uoga alikuwa na ugoma mwingi sana mimi nilikuwa naona baba yangu anakuja analetea saa hichi sikunywi kwa sababu nilikuwa na uchungu mwingi sana so baba yangu analia alikuwa naona machozi yake hayuko uhai saa hii hata mama yangu hayuko uhai analia naona analia anaenda ananiangalia anaenda ikaendelea hivyo mpaka huo mguu ikawa utakatwa so mimi niliona nikipelekwa eh, theater nikiwa hiyo hiyo mtoto tu mdogo lakini baadaye yes, sikujua ni nini ilifanyika ndio kesho yake niliamshwa nikaoshwe wakati niliamshwa nikaoshwa ndio niliangalia nikaona mguu umefungwa sana na badge na kuna damu uh, nikataka kutoanisha kwa sababu si kutaka kuamini sina mguu na nilikuwa katotoka dogo lakini daktari akaniambia we wacha so akanikalishia pahali kwa bafu e, ile ya basin alafu sasa akanipanguza sana na kitamba akanipanguza kila pahali paka e, kwa, kwa mguu lakini nililia sana 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 nikimuuliza mguu wangu umeenda wapi nalilia mguu wangu sana sana hata wakati nilipelekwa nikavalishwa nguo bado nilikuwa nalia tu nataka mguu wangu so ikaendelea hivyo ikawa ni kama ninaanza ni, ni kuzoea kuzoea lakini nikaanza kuwa mtoto ambaye yako na hofu ya aina fulani nilikaa hospitali miaka miwili na kile kilifanya nikae miaka miwili kwa sababu huu nao uli develop vidonda kwa sababu walikuwa wameweka chuma pande hii na pande hii inashikanishwa na hapo chini hapa chini panakuwa na chuma ambayo ina, ina cross hivi so kwa sababu ya kuchoka sana kujaribu kujipindua nayo hiyo chuma inakula mguu. So nikawa na vidonda kwa miguu ambayo vidonda vilikuwa vibaya na nikawa ni ikaniweka miaka mbili pamoja na mgongo kwa sababu ya kulala sana. Kwa maana nilikuwa nalala hii eh, kifulipuli. From our observation by spending a full day with this mom, it is clear that disability is not inability and with no doubt no one is ever limited. Hao watoto wanatoka kwa manyumba yao kuna wale wako na wazazi kuna wale hawana wazazi na wanatoka wengine wanatoka kijiji kiko na hapa kinaitwa Jerusalem wengine wanatoka mbali pande ya Ndwaru wengine wanatoka pande ya ya, ya me, Kabiria na Medonge sehemu hizo zote wanaambiana wanaambiana mtoto unajua akiwa na shida anaambia mwingine tunapeaga ndamba tunaendaga mahali tunapewa chakula na ila namba yangu nilitaka niwe nayo nilitaka niwe na watoto mia moja. Lakini nikakuta ya kwamba wale wanajani wengi. Kwa hivyo wakati walikuja sasa wa, nikaona wamekuwa wengi. Kila chakula kiko kinawagawanyishwa kidogo 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 kidogo. At least wanakula. Mtoto anatoka akijua ya kwamba hata kama nimekosa leo a, ama nilikosa jana leo nimepata na nimekula. Ni vitu mingi sana kwa sababu huwa ninatoka Ninaenda uh, kama meal bakers wanamnipe mikate kwa amani nyingi sana na furaha nyingi sana. Ninawapenda sana kwa sababu ni watu wanajua Mungu. Wanajua Mungu vizuri sana. Na uh, Kings Meal. Kings Meal nao bado wananipe mikate na wananipe siku tatu. 3 days Mondays, Wednesdays na Fridays. Na wengine wanaitwa Delight wao wanatuletea hapa. Atuendi kutafuta kutu. Kwa hivyo Ninatoa shukurani sana 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 kwa wale watu ambao huwa tunaenda kwao hawaturudishi nyuma wanatusaidia wanatupe na wananiaminia kwa sababu wengine hawajawahi kuja hapa eh? leo tu ndio wanaweza wakaona vile huwa ninawaambia kwamba watoto ndio hawa na hata wengine hawajafika wanakuaga wengi kushinda hivi 
lakini ninakuaga na shukurani kwao i'm lydia makori i'm a retired teacher we met in a very interesting way because we had gone for a conference and she was coming out of her car and as you can see she's uh, she's not able to walk well so we walked together we sat together and we started talking and after that i dropped her here after the conference and we sat and talked and i was very impressed at her love for children she doesn't have much but the little she has she shares with those who don't have so from that time we have worked together uh, that was in the year 2021 and then came the corona time we worked together and when there is a challenge she tells me and i help where i can it isn't only food issues budging Bishop Cruz. There are several challenges that Mama faces. But what keeps her going? Huwa ni napitia changa moto mingi sana 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 na mambo ingine ni ya uchungu sana kwa mwana unakutana na watu ambao unawapatia ila shida ambao ukonayo kuhusu hawa watoto. Mtu anakuzungumzia vibaya na kuambia mambo maeba na kuuliza kwa nini unahusika na watu na wea ni muremabu. Siwe ni murebabu kwa nini unahusika na watu. Si, mungina kuna mmoja alinisaidia. Bona ujisaidi wewe mwenyewe. Kama mwambi sasa mi ni konaji darani. Na ninatembea. Eh? Unakuta sasa wa, wanakuwa na, na mambo ya kudunga sana katika moyo. Lakini na jipa moyo. Challenge ni mingi kwa sababu chakula inakosekana. Sina mtu timamu ama sponsor ya yote ambaye ni konae. Ambaye a, anatupatia chakula. Ni kule kuongea na watu. Ni kama kubahatisha hapa na pale. Yani naenda, nikiwa na imani, nitapata. Kuingina ninakosa, kuingina nafungiwa mirango. Kuingina hata hawa nijui wananipatia. Na wakati wakinipatia, naleta hapa hapa. Na ninashukuru mungu kwa sababu. Niko na kagari, kagari, hapa, haka kako hapa. Uyo bishop wangu, ambaye ni Harrison, haki bishop Harrison nganga. Ndiya niona ninateseka, ninaenda miguu, akanipa hii gari ili niweze kuwa ninafika ni pahali ambapo ninataka kufika alinita kazi nisani akanipa funguo na mnai akaniambia hii ni gift yako fanya kazi kulingana na vile Mungu atakuwezesha akaniambia mimi hiyo kazi unafanya siwezi lakini Mungu atakusaidia Uta, utafanya kazi na utaendelea kwa majina naitwa Evelyn Agosa Okongo Bishop Rose ni a great friend of mine a mentor Niko na passion ya kukana watoto wa streets, everybody that is in need, wajane, kila kitu, tumekua tukisaibiana na yeye. Tunashukuru Bishop Rose kwa kazi mzuri ya nae fanya, kama matibabu, kama haya, anakosa mtu wa kumunga mkono, apeleke mtoto kama huyu kwa daktari na apate matibabu. Kwa hivyo tunazidi kumuombea, mungu wa mfungulie mlango hata tukapata facility ya kuwa na uwezo wa kuleta madawa mahali pale, tunatibu watoto hawa na wazee wengine wa kumiongoni mwetu, tutashukuru mwenyezi mungu. Her dreams are valid and she just won't stop aiming higher. Mimi ningependa na maombi yangu inakuwaga hivi. Mtoto yeyote asipote. Na mtoto kutopotea. Mungu akinipa pahali. Pahali ambapo panaweza kuwa pawe na, na hall, pawe na mbahari, pahali ambapo wanaweza kulala. Shule ikifungwa, wanakuja. Tunawafunza vile tunawafunzaga hapa. Wakati wanaendelea na shule, na make sure vile ambavyo huwa nafanya, ninaweza kufanya hili awa watoto waende shule. Shida ili ambao imekuwa ni kwamba tukiwa hapa kama leo hivi mvua inaweza ikanyesha ikinyesha unakuta wanajaribu ku, ku, kujisukumia huku na huku ujue hii ni nyumba ya mwenyewe nakuta wakati mwingine tuna tunamuumiza moyo lakini sina njia ingine namwambia tu nisamee unakaa huku hivi na bado tunanyeshewa tu wakati mwingine chakula tunakula kuna wakati mmoja tulikula chakula Mbua ikiwa ina, ina, mbua ikiwa ina nyesha. Na sikuwa na jia ingine. Hatuna hata tent, hatuna nini. 
lakini huwa ninaomba Mungu sana na ninaomba saa hii kwa sababu ninajua kuna wengi wananisikia tafadhalini kama unaweza uwe na kiwanja yako pahali utupatie hao watoto wawe na pahali ambapo wanaweza kukuja tuwahudumie vizuri zaidi ya vile tunafanya bila kunyeshewa unakuta kwa choo kuna, kuna, eh, kuna choo pale lakini sasa hiyo choo wakati mwingine hao watoto wakipiga hii kona waende na hapo hivi makerera inakuwa nyingi sana huku na shida inakuwa mingi nakuta wakati mwingine inasemekana hao watoto wataiba ni waizi so nikipata pahali nitafurahia sana 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 mahali ambapo hawa watoto na wamama na washosho mtu anaweza kuja afunzwe kufanya kazi ya mikono na afanya kwa maana walimu niko nao amanatist nimefunza wengi watoto hawa wakati wanaenda shule wakikuja wakati shule imefungwa wanakaa tunafunza tunaendelea kufunza kuna mambo ya mikono hiyo ambayo ninasema wanaweza wakafunzwa na ninajua watu wengi ambao wako na skills, wako na mafunzo ambao wanaweza kufunza hawa watoto. Tukiwa pahali petu, tunaweza fanya makubwa. My mom is a hero. That's what I can say. Because uh, kuna wengi sana huku nje but uh, wa, hawana hiyo mawazo. And the fact that naonanga zile mashida ako nazo anajidinai because she doesn't have sponsors when you anasimama na yeye ile kidogo anapata from well wishers ndio huwa anatoa i have learned so much from her na in life huwa anajaribu ku emulate venye anafanya because uh, even me in, in future ningetaka kuendeleza hii kazi maana ninaona kujitolea na jitolea kujinyima for the sake of others na hiyo ikafanya mpaka hata mimi niseme i'll follow in the same uh, nishimshikilie afanye dreams zake zikuwe uh, fulfilled so I really appreciate her na for me ni kumwambia mwanadamu aweze mlipa. Oh she is doing nobody who can but God can. So ni kuomba Mungu aendelee kumpa nguvu aishi siku nyingi uh, na so that whatever she is doing yeze kuleta glory back to God. There are very few people who are like Rose. Because you see she doesn't have much but what, whatever little she has she wants to share. Like now, you can see this crowd of children. If she can get a place where she can house them, she can even start a school. And that's what we were discussing before you came. She needs a place where she can start a school and uh, so that she can help them in the best way possible. Na shukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa Pastor Ross amekuwa mtumishi wa Mungu wa kujitoa. Ako na moyo wa kusimama na the needy people. Anasimama na disabled, wajane, machokora, hata any pass by person who is sleeping hungry, we feed them. Na amejitolea kwa moyo wake wote. Ambapo tunaomba mtu alie na moyo kama ako na kitu anashindu watapeleka wapi. Tafadhali tunaomba azidi kusimama na Pastor Rose ili accomplish iyo mradi yenye mungu wa memfatia. Hamemtika katika mabega zake afani. Kuna watu waliniambia nisitaje majina yao hawataki lakini mi nitasema ya kwamba. Mr. and Mrs. Mavenge wa Miu Bakers wamekua msaada sana kwetu. Sana sana. Na wanina nipe mikate kwa moyo mzuri sana. Moyo mkunjubu niseme hivo. Amba wanagusa moyo wangu sana. Hawajajua ni wapi napeleka mikate. Kwa mana hawajawahi weza fika. Lakini waliniambia siku moja wakipata nafasi watatutembelea waone. Na ninashukuru mungu sana kwa sababu kwa yao. Wale wengine ni Kingsmill. Amba wanatupatia mikate. Na tunafurai sana hata wawo. Wanatupatia kwa furaha sana. Siku tatu. Na wale wengine ni delight ambao wanatuletea mpaka hapa usiku. Nakuta watu wao marori yao yakipeleka mikate wanasimama hapa wanatuletea. Ninashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu yao. Bishop wangu naye huwa ananiweka nguvu sana wakiwa na mke wake. Hao ni watu ambao wamefanya moyo wangu uwe na uwe na imani na uwe na nguvu. Kwa maana nikifanya kazi wakati ninapofanya ninajua ya kwamba kuna watu ambao wako na haja na mimi na wananipenda na wanapenda sana wakiona nikiendelea
watu ni wengi lakini baadhi ya wale ambao ningetaja nataja hao sahihi